Item Number SCP-2337 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-2337 is to be kept in a standard avian habitat cell with soundproofing. Personnel are required to wear Level 3B, 5A, 7A, 26M ear protection while handling SCP-2337. Transportation for SCP-2337 is to be carried out using a portable soundproof crate. Though SCP-2337 has no need of nutrition, gummy worms are to be provided upon request, and not restricted as a reward for good behavior. SCP-2337 calls them strangle fruits. Due to SCP-2337's poor grasp of cause and effect, punishments and rewards will inevitably result in frustration on part of involved personnel. As of December 5, 2014, all staff were advised to not attempt to emulate SCP-2337's speech patterns in its presence, and are assured that SCP-2337 understands some degree of human English. Description. SCP-2337 is a male corncrake. Crex Crex. It is sapient, sentient, and capable of speech. All of its vocalizations are extremely loud, with a minimum observed volume of 90 decibels and a maximum of Though this can and has caused damage to personnel's hearing, SCP-2337 is oblivious of its ability and is generally friendly with Foundation personnel. SCP-2337's vocalizations take the form of a language tangentially related to English. It often appears to be word salad, but, upon closer inspection, can have meaning in English through a series of vague innuendos, metaphors, rhyme, and arbitrary insertions of the word CAC. As such, SCP-2337 will answer to the name Dr. Spanko. Initial reports of SCP-2337 came from unusual noises from a field near Sussex, UK, which led to its capture in the same area. Upon containment, SCP-2337 appeared to take hostile actions against Foundation personnel, emitting blasts of noise that ruptured the eardrums of three agents. Upon later examination, it was revealed that SCP-2337 was attempting to make friendly conversation. Addendum. Since the containment of SCP-2337, several sapient creatures contained by the Foundation have displayed knowledge of its existence and have expressed interest in a meeting with SCP-2337. The reason for this has yet to be fully understood, though it is believed that SCP-2337 has some sort of status as an authority figure to several particularly dangerous beings. Keto reclassification has been proposed for this reason but is currently denied due to SCP-2337's apparent cooperation with the Foundation. Interview with SCP-2337 December 5, 2014 Please state your name for the record. CAC Am christened Hair Dr. Spankoplex Am colloquially named Splat with SCP-233 and Steven Am complicated across the state Thank you. And how? Listen, SCP-2337 SCP-2337 draws a prolonged gasp. It me, CAC. You seem to have a pre-established relationship of sorts with several of the more dangerous creatures in our custody. And how? Yes, please elaborate on the exact nature of this relationship. It done be Shalforth. Able sauce am tricky mayonnaise for suit, Aunt Ruth. Come packing with store brand hostility cakes for mouse stuff. Slavikins grew boarded and bearded from Chesapeake Bay to unknown Kadoth, my good Flibbert. The three ringed hobo stack over and over, Alakazam, CAC. Please repeat that statement in a dialect used by the Foundation. 10 4 X Lax. SCP 2337 begins yodeling for three consecutive minutes. Please discontinue yodeling. Am CAC more sense? 
We need you to cooperate and explain your answer in a coherent way. Mitochondria of the molasses? And what the Spengel Freezer said. For shame. This. Escalate the right query Q molasses. They're not hearing me, are you? Only with the Nebraska CAC flip. Amigo salad. CAC. CAC? What ho, eastward bound. Profound disappointment. Snackutations, Dr. Spenko. CAC. You am authoritator? Explainerate. SCP-2337 begins cacking angrily, then proceeds to climb up the doctor face and attempt to peck his eyes out. SCP-2337 is quickly sedated with a tranquilizer dart, and Dr. suffers only minor scratches. This has been noted the only time that SCP-2337 has displayed hostility.